just want to review the, uh, the COVID-19 numbers uh, for Monday the 17th. Uh, compared to last week, uh, we're up to 887 positive cases. That's up 83 from last week, which is a slight decrease from the uh, percentage or the number that we've had uh, the previous two weeks. We have 105 active cases, and that's down 40 active cases from 145 last week. We have 774 cases that have recovered, and that's up 123 from last week. Um, we had three people in the hospital last week, and now we have seven, so that's an increase of four. We're still uh, standing with eight people that have passed away due to the COVID virus. And we have 24,733 negative tests, and that's up 2,172 from last week. And the percentage of positive tests to uh, the total test is standing at 3.4%, and that's uh, remained the same from last week. The COVID-19 is a terrible virus that continued, we continue to learn more about every day. However, we do know some of the best practices, including masks and face cloth coverings, physical distance, and keeping our social circles small. These are all key to slowing the spread of the virus. We also know that working together is a key uh, to our lives returning to normal. A new ordinance is gonna be introduced on Tuesday, August 18th tomorrow at the Sheboygan County Board of Supervisors meeting regarding the coronavirus pandemic. This ordinance provides for enforcement of public health orders and legislative oversight. At this meeting, the ordinance will then be referred to a committee for a recommendation and return to the county board for a final vote on September 15th. The goal of the proposed ordinance is to be prepared uh, to be used if we see a significant spike in the COVID-19 uh, insurgents in our hospitals, and if they are on the brink of being swamped with cases, and the, then the uh, county public health officer uh, does have significant authority in state, state law and statutes, and is proposed that this ordinance will soften the existing authority as it proposes checks and balances with legislated oversight by the county board. There are currently no local public health orders in place. If we do see a surge of COVID-19 in our community and need to take stronger action to protect the health and the vitality of our community, we will have a stronger collaborative approach established and in place. The purpose of this ordinance is to be prepared if the situation gets significantly worse and if the greater countywide action needs to be taken. The ordinance also includes an enforcement component that is easier to administer and less punitive, and again, only if needed. This week, you will see new billboards and a bus wrap ads to ask everyone to do their part to stop the spread of the coronavirus in Sheboygan County. Please wear a mask and maintain social distance. These are challenging and unprecedented times and will take all of us working together to keep our community safe and our businesses open.